Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. Today we have something um, a bit different. So as you can see here, I have recreated the Reaper Leviathan from Subnautica in Plain Crazy. And I'm going to be making a tutorial on, on it. But before I do that, I want to do a quick showcase. Oh wait, never mind, this isn't the one that's finished. I have a save file right here. Alright, here we go. Alright, so here is... The finished Reaper Leviathan. Why is there a block under me? What is it? Ha was that under the ground? How did that block get under there? Alright, delete that. Get this down here. Alright. So, here's a little... What? Why is it already making noises? Alright, here's a quick showcase. It's basically a fully functional sub. It can go up and down. That's what F and R are for. It can go forward, can't go backward, but that's more realistic for the actual thing. It actually turns with its body like that. These pinchers can eat things. And let me tell you, these are very effective for combat. Especially on like small boats and stuff, this thing can tear through them in seconds. And also, as you might've heard earlier, <laughs> It has the actual Reaper Leviathan roar. So this will require you to use the speaker if you don't if you don't have it, I'm pretty sure you can just substitute it with a normal block or like a ballast block if it's off balance or something. But yeah, other than that, it should work fine even if you don't have the speaker. Alright. And we've got music there, so let me just music. None, there we go. So let me just get this over here. So we can copy it off. All right. So we're going to be starting from the back and then going all the way up to its nightmarish underwater PTSD inducing head. All right. So we're going to start with the tail here. So what we're going to want is a helium block and two water propeller tubes. So we go here, helium block. Delete these. Water propellers. Water propeller two. This one's facing up. So we put this right here. Flip this. Put that right there. And then we need delta wings. Take these. Boop. Boop. Flip that. Boop. Boop. So let's see what we need next. We need Another water propeller, too. So we go here. Water propeller, and one water propeller, too. This is the right way, okay. We put this right there. Then we need three ballast blocks and a helium block. Now you know it's ballast tanks. Bellows blocks, bellows tank, and you want to make sure the stripes are on the top and not on the sides, so that way once it's finished, you'll only be able to see it from the top because there'll be stuff blocking it on the bottom, so it looks better. So three of these right here, you don't need to change the settings at all. And then we need a block going here, and a one by three wedge that goes right under there. There we go. Then, like I said earlier, we are going to need... Wait, wait a minute. Did I mess something up? Okay. <laughs> ah, what the? I thought I turned all the music off. And there we go. Let me just turn all the sound off. Alright, forgot something. We're going to need a ballast block here with a density of four. We're going to need a helium block. Put it right there. Block. Then we get back to the wedge. Sorry about that. Oh, wait. Boop. There we go. Like that. Then we only need to finish the fin. And then we've got the back section done. So for the fin, I'm going to want a 1x4 wing panel. Turn it right here. And then we're going to want a delta wing 1x1. One and we'll just plop that right there. Now we're gonna paint. 
I will paint after we finish every section. So we're going to want this specific shade of red. It's 151 just on the red bit. And then we're going to paint this whole bit of the tail. I don't know why the paint is lagging. Then we're going to want to paint the fin. And then for the rest of the body, we will want this specific shade of gray. It's 200, 200, 200. Then just color in the rest of it with that. So here's the little tail. All right. Now this is where we get onto the actual like big parts of it. We're going to want a motor too, facing forward. So do that right there. Face forward. So we put that right there. Then we get a half wedge on top of it. So we go wedges, and then half wedge. Doot doot. All right, so now that we've got this bit done, let's gonna let's like edit the controls. So, for water propeller two, we're going to want these controls, basically just on and off only. Then for both the ones here, so this one gets reverse thrust. R R is decreased power. F is increased power. And then is this one the same? Uh, let's see. Yes, these, these two are the same, except this one does not have reverse thrust. You will see why we need this in a minute. So we put those two there. So, let's check again. We got this. We've got this. And then we've got this. Now for the motor two. Go here. Now, this one's a bit more complicated, so you want to copy this down. So, D is backwards, A is forwards. Speed 1 and servo, max angle 35. Put this right there. Alright, so next, what have we got? So, I think, is that a... Okay, no, that's just an own block, so... How long is this one? We've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Okay. This is where it starts to get tricky, because you need to find out which ones are ballast blocks. Because I think the inside of this is filled with ballast blocks. Yeah, ballast tanks. All the way through here. Okay, so three ballast tanks. Four ballast tanks, actually. So, is this one just a normal block? Sorry if this takes me a while. Eh. Okay, so, blocks, this one here, and then just put that there, and then we're going to go back to the ballast blocks, ballast tank, doesn't matter which way they're facing, need three or four, let me see, one, two, one, two, three, four. Got it. So we need four of them. There we go. That's looking good. All right. So now we're going to need some half blocks. Actually, let me check. Are these, are any of these ones editable? Let me just check. Oh, wait, there's one right here. Okay, that's a helium block. So, there's a helium block right there. Check this. Helium block. Now we're going to have to have blocks. So, we want one. Where was it? So, we want one right here. We want one right there. Then we want one right there. Then we get in here to half wedge two. This is to make sure it doesn't interfere with the turning. Doot doot. And then this here. And then this here. So, after that, I think it's all just normal wedges and stuff. Okay. So, let me just fill this. Oh, wait. Sorry. Let me fill this bit back up. 
Why the frick is the music still playing? I turned it off. Eh. And if I turn the volume all the way down, I think it'll turn off my microphone. So I might have to just deal with that music. It just turns on randomly. I don't know why. I've turned it off, but they just keep going. Oh my god, the freaking music. Why? The trollers are evolving. Alright. So, we need four blocks from here, I'm pretty sure. Is it five? Yeah, it's five. Okay, got it. So we need five blocks from each of these parts. There we go. We're like halfway through already. This is going by super fast. Alright. Do we get a wet poop? Gotta put all this right here. Oh no. Alright. Put this here. And then these here. Oh no. Did I miss a spot? Is it still there? Mobile is weird with placements. Alright, now let's paint this. Actually, wait, no, we need to do the fin. So it's again a 1x4 with a 1x1. One one. So, wing panels, back to the 1x4. <laughs> What the frick is with the music? Stop the music, I'm just trying to make a tutorial. Did I make this too long? Did I? Oh yes, I did, I did. Sorry about that. I accidentally made that too long. But that ballast block still does need to be there. Alright. Sorry about that. Alright. Wing panels, wing panel one by four. Then we need delta wings, delta wing one by one. There we go. Now we can paint. Oh, actually, no, there's still a bit more. We need a bunch of wedges. Okay. Go here, wedges. One here. One there. Go to half blocks. We want half a wedge down. Turn this way. I'm sorry, I'm really sorry about the music. I don't know why. I tried blocking it, but it keeps going. Then we need half triangle wedge. So let's put this one here. This one. Here, this one, here, and then this one here. And then we're going to paint it. Add a happy little spot of blood. Mm. Tasty. Let's go there. Alright, everybody, so... Hopefully he'll leave me alone. Boop. Boop. Then this one is a boop. And then a boop. I said, oh no, eh, too much boop. All right, so we take this thing. Why is it not painting? Oh, there we go. Alright. Do this. Paint all that up. You don't have to paint it when I am. You can just paint it after, but you'll have to come back and look at it to see where to paint. There we go. And we're almost done with this bit. One, paint. There we go. 
Look at that. We're like halfway through this thing. Now we've got the biggest and hardest part. The full front part. All right. So for this part, you're going to want to pay very close attention. Because if you mess anything up, up here, it most likely will not work. So we're going to need another motor too. Let's see what its things are. So it's the same one as the last one. But the max angle is 30 this time. So motors, motor two. Do 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 do. Look at that. All right. So this part's a bit tricky. What we need is a block, and then 1.0.9. You want to make sure that the short side is on the top. To make, so like, make sure it's like. See how there's like a little gap of clearance between that and the motor. I'm going to make sure the block does that so it doesn't stop it from turning. And then we just need a bunch of wedges and stuff. And blocks, so. Block. And then wedge. Doot doot. And. Doot. Doot doot. Alright. I'm going to go to half blocks. Half wedge down. Turn this right here. Place that. Place that. So do that to make sure it's like doesn't interfere with the turning and stuff. That's why I use most of these blocks to make sure it doesn't stop the turning. Or right, any of the blocks up here or anything? I can edit. No, I can't. Okay, so this bit is the longest. Why is there a floating? <laughs> what the frick? What? 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 What the heck? There was just a floating block and then a tank appeared out of nowhere. What the? That was weird. Alright. So. How long is this bit? Frick. Let me up! Let me up! Alright. How long is this bit? Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight. All right. So, does this back block? Okay. All right, so we're going to want to build six blocks forward. Five, six. All right. So, the motors are going to be under this. So let me see where all the motors are and how many of them there are. Take this out. This is where it ends. All right, so let's see how many we got. Got it. Okay, so it starts from like right here. This is weird, it's hard to see down there. All right, right here. So if we are right there one back um one bl one block back from the from here so we're gonna want water repellers water repeller two make sure the open bit is facing the back like this so one two three four no that can't be right can it is it only four No, it's five, huh? Then where's the... This is confusing. I am. Sorry about this. Oh, wait, no, there is one right there. Okay. There's one right here. Got it. So, we do have a bit of ballast blocks here. Let me see how many. So we got one... All right, ballistic, one, two, three, four. All right, so four. That is one, two. All right, two blocks from here. Blocks right there. It's a box of blocks. All right, so go here. Ballast blocks, ballast tank. One, two, three, four. 
Why is everyone coming around my base? One, two, one, two, three, four. There we go. All right, we're getting pretty far in the tutorial. Let me see if there's anything under here that we need to edit. Do, 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 do. All right, no, the bottom is good. All right. So, blocks, one by seven. The uh, brick, why is this so hard to place? Oh yeah, because, all right, so now we just need more blocks. One, two, three, four, five, six. Does it go up to six? Yeah, I didn't place the ballast blocks, okay. Doot. Doot. And then we're just gonna place all the wedges and stuff. Wedges. All right. We're almost done with the upper neck bit. Then we'll move on to the head. Oh yeah, and every propel every propeller in there is on and off mode only. So if you haven't edited that, do that. Or you can not do it on and off only. It depends on your preference for underwater vehicles. There we go. So we just ride that all the way up to seven. Or is that one past seven? Okay, that's yeah, two, two one befores. Wing panels, wing panel one by four. This one goes here, right there. All right, and then here's the little weird arm thingies. So those are hmm, one block back from here. So we're going to need wedges. Mm, yes, that is one before. All right, so we're going to put this right here. Frick. Right there. And then right there. Boop, boop. Oh, wait, crap. That one didn't place in the right place. Alright, and then wedge. Wedge one by four. Doot doot. Like that. And then we want two tiny blocks here. And a wedge. Here. And here. Did you like that one? Ah. There we go. So there's that bit, so now let's paint. Now let me just one by seven. There we go, fix that. Eh. No, no. Right. There we go. There we go. Alright. So, let's just make a few sh stripe things here. Go here, put that one there. Like that. 
And so for the arms, you're only want to you're only going to want to do these little bottom blocks. Why is it taking so long to paint? All right, there we go. So right here. There we go. And then we're just going to want to get the gray and just color in all the rest of the stuff right there. Put this here, put this here. Oh no, I forgot a wedge there. Let me just color in all this. Why is it not working? Color. Color, I say. And then wedges. Put that right there. And then go here. There we go. So now we're moving on to the head. This is where stuff gets real. All right. So what we're gonna want is some ballast tanks. Go here, ballast blocks, ballast tank. Let's do it like this. Oh no. Uh, right here. Right there. Paint those ones. So this is where we're going to build the arms. Are these helium? No, they're not. Alright, so block. Block. Then we're going to need motor two. Uh, like that. There we go. Right here, and right here. So for this side, we're going to want this. So I'm gonna let y'all copy that down. Copy. Like that. And then for this side, we're going to want the same thing except the E's on the backwards part. Now we're gonna get onto the actual like claw bit. So, let me see if I can get this right. Is that a one by three? Yeah, it's a one by three, okay. So, we need half blocks. We put one Here, and then here, then put one here and here, then we put a half block right there, and a half block right there. Then we get wedges, we get one by three, right there, and then right there, then we go to blocks. Place these here, go to PvP weapons, grab a cutter, and put it right here and right there. So far everything's lining up. Alright. So is this the main pilot seat? No, is this it? Which one's the main pilot seat? That's it right there. Got it. Blocks. All right, so we're gonna place the pilot seat. Right. All right. So was it one block before this? Yes, it was. So this, this right here is gonna be your main pilot seat. I'm just gonna place a normal seat, but for you it would be the main pilot seat because I've already used mine. 
So this right here is your main pilot seat. So let me just, uh, let me just take this. Right there, main pilot seat. Oh, wait, poop. I didn't mean to do that. No. All right, back to the build. So let's paint the claws. We're going to want to go here. Most of the claw is red. So we just do that. Here, here, and here we're going to want black for the actual, like, little blades. And then like this. If it will paint. There we go. And then everything back from this point. Come on. Wrong thing. Come on, Deep. All right. We just take this. Take this. Take this. Then we grab this. Wait, wrong color. All right. Now that we've got that done, we are going to let's see what else we got. Oh yeah, we need the speaker now. So let's just place a block here. So if you don't have the speaker, just use a normal block. And if it messes with balance, just use like a like a ballast block, and you can modify the settings. So here's the here's the ID for the Reaper Leviathan roars. Turn off toggle, turn off loop. I do volume all the way up. I mean, turn on toggle. I'll do, I do Q because I don't know M is like a really weird key. If you want to like press it on the other side of the keyboard or something. So yeah, these are, I'm going to let you copy down the music ID. So, copy that. And take this over here. Put that on the speaker. So that right there is the roar. Next, we've got the big weird headpiece that he has. Which is like, I don't know why. why, why what is this? Why is this? Alright, so, we're going to want to do blocks, like this, then like this, we're going to go to, oh, what's have a thruster? Oh, there it is, have a thruster. Put these here, these are going to be the eyes later on. So you can just like paint these all black. Let me show you. Like this. So yeah, just paint paint all the hover pads all black. Like the ones over here, and then it should look good. Alright, and then let's see what else we've got. We got the next claws to do. So we're going to go back to motors and motor two. Turn this around. Alright, uh, oh no, eh, didn't want to do that. Alright. Frick, it's hard to see where everything is. Because of how weird and clustered the faces. Is that just a normal block? Wait, wrong block. Ah! Alright, it's just a normal block, okay. Go to block. There we go. Hmm, let's see what else we got. We need to get another block here. This one goes here, and this one goes here, and then we're going to make the other claw, so we need another block, and another block, motors, 
motor too. Alright, so we go here. We go half blocks. Oh, no, wrong thing. Eh. Go here. Eh. And we take this. And we do this. Alright, um, so we take one. We take this half block, put this right here, put that right there. Oh no, uh, how did this one get, how did this one get gray? Alright, there we go. Paint all these. And paint this. Right there. Alright, so... Let's see, we need more of the wedges, so let's go wedge one by three. Just put one here, one here, one here. And then we do frick one frick. Why is this so hard to place? One here. One here. Delete the middle one. Paint this. Blocks. This here. Is there something in the way? And go here. PvP weapons. Cutter. Why is there a giant robot in my base? I'm trying to make a tutorial. Yeah, some, the freaking tank. Ah. I'm back. I switched to a private server so there would be no interferences with the tutorial. So, let's get back to building. So, we're going to paint in the claws. Like that. And we're going to want to edit the motor too, so it for it. Why is it pressing random buttons? Alright. So for the motor two on this side, it's the same for the one on the top. And then for this one, you just copy this one, put the one on that top. There we go. So we're getting very close to the end. Now what we're going to want is we're going to want wedges. Half wedge, and you want to put it right here, right there. After I finish the full head, we'll paint it. And then we'll go half blocks, half wedge. Doot doot. So let's see. All right, got it. Gotta put block here. And then we put block there. <laughs> this looks like a weird dog now. You know what this kind of reminds me of? I bet, I bet you like no one will get this reference. But the head, how it looks right now, kind of reminds me of like the first boss from Crash Bandicoot Twin Sanity. Like the robo version of him. It's this like little snout thing kind of reminds me of that. Bet you there's only like one person watching this that will get that reference. Alright, so we're going to need ballast tank right there. Go here, ballast blocks, ballast tank. So let's see. Ballast tank right on top of this. Right there. And then we go wedges. Wedges one by four. Yes, yeah, one by four, okay. 
So we put a 1x4 here. Oh, no. Wrong spot. One block down. Blocks. Doot. Doot. Wedges. 1x3. And turn this around. And I poop. There we go. Now we are nearly done. Let me just check one thing. Are any of these blocks with the signs on them editable? No, they're not. Okay. Got it. Just needed to double check there. Frick, where was that? Blocks. Alright, we're almost there. We are so, so very close. Half blocks. Oh no, half wedge. Wedge. Half wedge. Doot doot. Take this. Does that go around the seat? Yes, it does. Okay. That would poop. Wrong thing. Doot doot. So let's see what else we got. Triangle wedge and a block. Is the block editable? No. So we need block, wedges, half wedge. Put this here. Then triangle wedge. This goes here. That goes there. Alright. Got all the blocks done. Now we gotta do is paint. that all right and we gotta do one more thing first gonna need signs here 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 Just do this and make like a tooth pattern in size 100. Copy that and then paste it onto all of these. And then, like that, then paint all of these black. Then take this, paint this whole bottom draw, and right there. Brick, brick, get up there. All right. Paint all the blocks. Doot. There we go. Paint this. And then we go here. Put this here. And then, there you go. You've got yourself a Reaper Leviathan.
Should be fully functional, so let's just test it. Ah, crap. All right, let me set the controls. So, the hover pad controls don't do anything. Those are just the eyes, so we don't need those. F and R are your depth controls. R goes up, F goes down. A and D do what you expect them to do. They're steering. E is for the claws. W and S are forward and backward. And then Q is for the noises. So E pinches in the claws. A and D turns. And then Q is for the hardware roar. Like that. Uh-oh. Oh, yeah, for I forgot to put that back on. But, yeah. There you go. You've got yourself... A fully functional Reaper Leviathan. And victory screech. <laughs> Yay. Right. Once you all build this, I'd like to see how you do. And enjoy the Reaper Leviathan. And have fun giving people some underwater PTSD. Bye-bye.